Hi Aquarius, welcome to Lily Light Tarot. What is, look at this beautiful sunlight here. I finished my uh, morning meditation and the sun just came out right in time for you Aquarius. It's just shining here. I just, I was gonna wait, but um, I thought, you know what? This is kind of adding to the ambiance. What do you think? Aquarius, where are you tuning in from, by the way? Let me know. Comment down below, where are you tuning in from? What city, what state, what country? Let's see Aquarius, for December 2023, what do you need to know? What's coming your way for Aquarius? Let's see, what does Aquarius have coming their way? Aquarius, December 2023. Oh, this light is so warm too. <laughs> it's very relaxing. Are you new, by the way? Is this your first time? If so, welcome. Comment down below. I have such a wonderful community here at Lily Light Tarot. Oh, okay, let's begin. This feels right here. Your top row. Oh, wow, look at the sun. Okay, your top row, for those that are listening, we have uh, the King of Swords, the Empress, the world, your middle row. We have the three of pentacles, the fool in the center. Look at the sun right here. And then next to the hermit with the star. Your bottom supporting row, we have the two of pentacles, ten of swords with the page of swords. Let me sh shift this up. Let's take a look at your three. I need three more cards for Aquarius. Three more cards for Aquarius. Let's see. Of course, what's your overall? Let's see. Your overall. Oh, here we go. The tower. Okay. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I should have said this. I should have said this. Okay. I, I didn't want to just because I felt like it was already apparent. But in my morning meditation, I saw your tarot card. Uh, appear obviously you're the star if you don't know that in the tarot deck you're the star but i kept seeing it like blinking it kept like flashes and images of the star like twinkling lights kept appearing and i was going to say aquarius i kept seeing stars in my meditation but i felt like that was kind of obvious like well yeah duh we're the star card but it's so crazy because the star is showing up again i should have said it ah <sighs> so it's just double confirmation here we're gonna get clarifiers on that though i'm gonna pull one more card for um, advice from spirit and then we will begin one more card for Aquarius advice advice from spirit Aquarius oh this one stopped me you know I always pre-shuffle and cleanse these cards but I like to go through them one last time uh, for situations like this where they jump out or they stop me and let the energies present naturally wow king of wands okay Let's go ahead and take a look. Your top row, King of Swords, Empress. We're looking at the world. What I see, something here is showing, um, okay, the King of Swords, this is something like very direct. I feel like in December, there's this energy coming through where you're being like more straightforward, okay? You're being like more like, either stern, straightforward, setting boundaries, because you have things that you're trying to do in your life. You have goals that you're trying to pursue. There's something that you, there's a greater objective that you are like dreaming of, right? And in order to get there, Aquarius, the King of Swords is saying like, you know, it's time to like lay down, <laughs> like lay it down, you know, like just be straightforward, set those boundaries, set those intentions, the energy of like being disciplined also is coming um, in. This is a good time to get like your routine set, uh, you know, using your intellect. Um, something about like being st like stable and just not focus on any distractions. And with your focus and tension, you're gonna see results growing. You're gonna see them coming through. But let me, let's take a look at your general over ener your overall energy. We have the tower, okay? Let's see why the tower is here, Aquarius. And I know some people, they get scared when they see that, 
because it does show that there's some type of chaos and um oh this light what i'm sensing here is can i hold this up Would, oh no what i'm sensing here of course is that a lot of you may feel like things are just kind of like chaotic whether it's your life whether it's work it could be your relationships too something's like falling apart but there is a sense where you feel like you're out you're, you're not in control you are not in control of situations that you're trying to keep together it's like you're trying to keep it together but things just are not going your way so it's apparent why the king of swords is here it's like okay we see you like get control right like try to control what you can your your thoughts your emotions your energy okay kind of like get a grip on the sword like get a grip on your your mind because when things are chaotic it's easy for us to continue to go down a spiral but if we keep a clear one track mindset then it's easy to navigate through the challenges okay so if you're kind of like lost in the abyss focus on what do you need to do to get out of the abyss okay let me first find a path let me first make a phone call right let me first uh write down in my journal or notebook uh, an ideal structure there's something here where it's like get control of what you know you can at this time but let me see what's coming through for the tower the tower for aquarius let's see Ooh, the eight of swords eight of swords why do i feel like there's this energy of like doubt when the eight of swords this is about um like negative thoughts self-imposed restrictions feeling like you can't move or move on there's something here where um some of you felt like you couldn't leave or something wasn't going to get better like you were stuck at where you're at i feel like that's where some of you are feeling like you feel like you're stuck but the silver lining with the tower it shows that even though you may be stuck mentally or physically sometimes the universe gives you that push to get you out of something to show you that there's something beyond where you are at okay now here in your area of opportunity okay your opportunity and challenge we have the star so it's interesting because your energy is the challenge aquarius so in december your challenge is to like spirit is almost saying like be yourself like, or be you or um like shine okay kind of like this light is shining something here is like you need to be seen you need to be like uplifted you need to be heard or represented but let me see let me get some clarifiers this these two stopped me we have five of swords and ten of wands yeah the five of swords feeling like you don't fit in or you don't belong but the thing is it's not that, that there was anything wrong with you it's that you just weren't meant to be in that situation if you look up at this deck in particular this fox has tied little wings here trying to fly with the birds the pigeons and the fox is now at the end of the cliff realizing that they cannot fly so they think is there something wrong with me how can the birds fly but i cannot fly right so the five of swords shows that there is um there's some type of like disagreement there's some type of conflict something is not even or balanced and just because you cannot fly does not mean you cannot run or that you cannot um you know hop or skip or dig it's like you have other qualities about yourself that are just as unique and valuable so with the star here too it's like it's almost like your purpose too like don't don't disregard or discount your your purpose or don't um don't misunderstand like your 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 purpose for some reason spirit is saying something like you do belong but it may not be where you think and maybe that's why the tower is coming in here too because you may have thought you were meant to fly out of this tower metaphorically speaking but you were meant to be like on the ground grounded you're meant to discover like a different path or a different way we have the 10 of uh wands coming in as well I i'm also something like some of you something here where um limited energies okay like you you may have been limiting yourself you may have been limiting yourself or your 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 craft and compared 
with the star, it's like, Chris, you are like limitless, okay? Reach for the stars. Something here is like, you've been limiting yourself. Hmm. Okay, let me, let's go on with here, the sun. <laughs> I should have, I should have waited till the sun went. But let's take a look here. I want to pull some clarifiers before we get to this middle row. In this middle row, okay, in your heart space, I see the fool showing new beginnings, new path, embarking on a new journey or also a new experience. Being that it's moving towards the three of pentacles um, in December, I would not be surprised if I see a collective group of you joining like a new team or you're also like building upon like other strengths that get you seen. All right. Something here where it's like you're taking a chance at something that maybe you've never done, you've never gone, you've never uh, pursued, but you're, oh, hold on, hold on, of course, my dog is scratching at the door, let me let her in. <laughs> She's so cute, let me show you. I know before you guys, some of you wanted to see what she looks like, here's her little head. <laughs> okay, um, but yeah, it's, it's like you're, you're connecting with some type of project or collaborative energy that's going to highlight your skill or your strength. It's also saying like give it give it a shot, you know, like give it give it a try. All right. I wanted to pull some clarifiers here as we look at the 3 of swords, empress, the world. Ooh, 3 of swords. There's like betrayal, hurt, deceit. Okay, some of you, you are, how does that expression go? Like, I don't want to say you're taking revenge, but I definitely sense that you're using some type of hurt as a strength. Okay, you're using some type of hurt as a strength. It's almost like when people take revenge or when someone, um, you know, in movies, there's always like that person that gets picked on. They feel like they were like ugly or nerdy or an outcast and they use that energy where they did not or they you know like they were told that they were an outcast or they didn't belong but that hurt that they experienced they came back like in the movies like bigger and stronger right so there's something here where this is like your origin story <laughs> aquarius something here is like okay this is this is how it started this is how i became the king this is how i got power right this is how i got stronger in the strength because of this something uh, some type of betrayal or deep, deep wound or hurt cause you to use like, uh, maybe like use against you. You like pulled it out and use it to move forward with the strength empress. Okay. Gaining strength, confidence, courage, your willpower, your self-love and your self-belief is coming into mind too. Like you're like gaining um, a, a greater sense of yourself. Um, it's interesting because I see Empress. Empress is kind of like a feminine energy. And then we see strength, which is the, the lion and um, the lady here. It's kind of like a balance. I feel like some of you are balancing um, another side of yourself. Maybe you felt like you were too feminine or too soft or um, too lenient in, cer in certain situations. So you're balancing in more like masculine energy too. Okay. Like you have a lot of like the, the kind nurturing energy, but now you're, you're incorporating and you're bringing in like a, a, a masculine um, energy. Uh, as we look at the, the world, we have the 10 of swords. So there's definitely an ending happening. There's an ending that is going to occur or that you're currently uh, already experienced, but this ending is opening up a new stage here for you. I, I'm sensing here, of course, there's kind of like a shift happening too. Oh, my, my watch. There's some type of shift that's going to propel you into like a, a new life stage or into um, a new, you know, like reality, C connecting on like new paths. Let's take a look here at your, your middle row. The hermit. The hermit is right behind the fool. So not that a lot of you are uh, afraid of being alone, but I see something that you're going to be achieving um, in December 
you're doing you're doing it like alone or you're the only one that believes in it you're the it could be like a solo position solo career solo role um i'm also seeing too like what you do aquarius a, a lot of you like your position is very specialized it's almost like no one can do it like you <laughs> like you had to go through great lengths to like know what you know do what you do um, and you're like now using that skill and applying it in other situations here that can bring in more opportunity. I see the six of pentacles and also, oh my gosh, double tower, double tower coming in. Well, okay. Six of pentacles with the fool. Some of you are also, you're wanting, like you're taking a leap into something that you want to receive equal value in. What's interesting is, look, three plus three is equaling six, right? So you're taking a leap towards a three, hoping to receive three more to equal six. So wherever you are going or where you feel like you're led to go in the season in your life, Aquarius, it's like you are going, you're, you're putting in three, hoping to receive three, right? So you want to jump into a relationship, hoping that person meets you in the same way in the relationship or the friendship. You're hoping to jump into this job or position, hoping that they match, you know, like your expectations or something here, like, or a friendship. You want it to be balanced. You want it to be even. So wherever you're taking this leap of faith, it's like you hope to get that same return of value that you've put in. Now, again, when we look at the, the hermit and the tower, there's some type of separation that a lot of you are experiencing or you're going to experience where it may feel like you're alone or you may feel like you're the only one, but you're not, okay? You don't feel that way. Um, the, Spirit's also saying something about like this isolation is turning into like a bigger transformation. So sometimes when we are in our most isolated period in life is when the biggest change occurs. Okay? We are able to receive downloads. We are able to hear messages. We are able to um, experience and notice things that we may have not been able to if we were distracted by the world or if we were kind of like cooped up in this tower, not exposed to certain things. Let me see, Chris. What, what else? Let me. I know. Sorry about the, the sun, the glare. I'm going to try to hold the cards up. I just couldn't wait to do your reading here for the new month of December. Let's see. Oh, juice, 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 juice. Okay. I'm going to take these top three cards. Oh, actually, there's four. Wait. Four. Okay. Look, we also have the Ten of Swords coming up again on the bottom row. And then another two. The two of swords and the two of pentacles. Prioritizing, balancing. I see like a lot of you balance. Like balance is going to be key. Balancing a new lifestyle, or a new routine. Possibly balancing out um, something that you know is ending and readjusting. I feel like there's like a readjustment that a lot of you are going to experience in your life. Having to adjust to a, you know, a new lifestyle, a new way of living, maybe a new, like a new routine. Something here is like you're having to balance something. Let me see what came through. Oh, so many doubles here. Okay, we have Page of Pentacles, the Hermit again. Okay, we have Wheel of Fortune and we're looking at the Seven of Cups. So double page coming in. I Something... With the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Swords, there's definitely like new opportunities coming towards you. The Page of Pentacles shows a financial opportunity. It's also showing opportunities based off of your skills. Like through you developing your skills or seeking some type of solution, it's going to lead and it's planning you to like greater success, okay? Because look, she's studying. So it's like the, the effort and the work that you put in, it's going to reap some type of reward. It's going to definitely reap some type of reward for your dedication to this path. And then as we look at the page of swords, this is like ideas, curiosity, okay? Getting to know more of. So something that you are seeking or that you're going to come across is going to help develop you. I'm also, um, the, the page of swords too also shows like um, being seen 
okay? Even though you're new. And for a lot of you, I feel like when it comes to your ideas or your, your skills or your craft, something may have some something may have ended in one way, but it's allowing you to experience a new way, if that makes sense. For, for those that this message is meant to come across, you'll know what this means, okay? It's like maybe you were not seen in one platform or maybe you didn't feel seen at one job or you didn't feel seen or heard in this relationship, but like with that closing, now you can start fresh and you have nothing holding you back and it's like, okay, now like everyone can see you, okay? Like everyone is able to see you and um, it's kind of like you're, uh, I'm getting so many energies coming in. It kind of reminds me of like a, um, like a freelance, a freelancer or a contractor or an entrepreneur, right? Like they, they're not under anyone, but they are like uh, kind of like in this free market. Like they're, 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 they're kind of, new maybe they're new in the industry new in the niche um new in the neighborhood but they they have a lot to offer okay but they're released from like their old job or their old contract and because they're released anyone kind of ha, ha you know has access to them like anyone can hire them um so it's, it's something like that aquarius it's like let yourself be seen and you will like draw in a, a, a attention okay learn and hone in what you've developed um, we see like double star through the, the hermit or well, triple star. So in the wheel of fortune and the seven of cups. Hmm. Something with seeking the truth too. something spirit is saying something that like that glitters is not always gold. You may be thinking like uh, there's a particular path that looks good or maybe you're comparing. That's the word. I feel like some of you two are comparing. OK, because the page of swords is looking towards the, the ten of swords. And I feel like some of you may have been comparing your life to a certain expectation like, oh, well, you know, so and so is not experiencing that. Or how come I'm not this far? Or there's something here that you're comparing yourself to. And spirit is saying, like, don't compare. OK, like. Do something like do be like authentic, like even though you're the only one doing it. It's like seek the truth or look deeper into it because even though it looks good, it may just be like a, a house of cards. Okay, something to that effect. Like all that glitters is not really gold because the seven of cups taps into some type of illusion. So not everything that appears perfect on the outside is perfect in the inside. I also see here too that some of you are going to come across in December something that seems kind of perfect, maybe too good to be true. So really use your intuition and your insight. And that's possibly why we see your general overall energy. It's like, okay, you had your expectation set on one thing. You thought something was going to go another way, but it's really the universe redirecting you into something much better. And just because something doesn't work your way, doesn't mean, again, you don't belong where it's not meant to be. It just means that you may need to focus on a new strategy or go into a, a new path. I see like a shift happening um, as well, okay? Because with this readjustment with the two of pentacles. So a lot of you, let me pull for this king of wands. A lot of you are going to have to, there's like some type of shift, like a reality shift, shifting into like a new dimension. Um, in your area of advice um, and potential future outcome, we have the king of wands showing that you will have authority. You're going to have control. You're going to have higher self-worth, okay? It's like you are going to be calling the shots. You're going to have control over your cre like creativity or your like um, your life path. I'm also seeing like developing connections or relationships are going to deepen. Spirit is saying, you know, really um, foster and nourish those precious relationships that you have in your life. Um yeah something about like respect you know like they're, they're going to respect you or they respect you or there's a sense of like loyalty behind that hmm. you know what's crazy oh, i was gonna say I, I haven't seen any i haven't seen any cup energy here in your focal area other than right other than the seven of cups uh aquarius let me know some of you may be on a hiatus from love or maybe you are happily in your love relationship, so your concern isn't really love. But um, for those that are like single or or feel like there's like turbulence with your relationship, there's not like a lot of love in December for some reason. Maybe some of you are just focusing on you, okay? Um, 
kind of like fed up with love or love isn't your priority i see like healing okay with a double ten of swords having to heal having to recover from being stunned especially with double tower like oof double tower double ten of swords i feel like the pain has been so deep that you just like you you just need a lot of time to um recharge Oh, wow. Look, we have Emperor, Ace of Wands, and we have the Five of Wands coming through. You're on fire, Aquarius. You are definitely... Sorry for this light. <laughs> oh, this pole right here on my window. You are definitely on fire. Um, Again, getting control, okay? So December is all about setting those expectations. There's some type of plan, too. I feel like there's a plan that you are going to be activating and working, but you're not going to be telling anyone about it. You're secretly like manifesting or working towards it, but you're keeping it really close to yourself and not sharing it uh, because you've been burnt before in the past and you're being mindful and selective of who you share those details with. You're going to wait. Okay. You're going to wait. Some, not all of you, um, but I do see that you may realize you, you work best alone or somewhere in your life right now, you feel like you need to be alone. Like you work best alone or you um, enjoy your alone time. In December, maybe a month of solitude and self-discovery. But again, in that solitude, okay, we see that there is something that's going to be developed with the Ace of Wands, that breakthrough. You're going to be able to finish that product. You're going to gain new inspiration. You are going to come across, you know, the, the answer that you're looking for, that experience. The thing about, if you look at the king energy, okay? Oh, we even have empress too. Some of you are going to be waiting. Like you're waiting for your, your match. Someone that can meet your energy. But you notice like all this masculine energy, Aquarius? A lot of you, it's like you are um, stepping up and kind of like, You're not going to be afraid to ask for what you want and to, 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 to make certain, I feel like your mannerism is going to be very demanding in a rightful way. Okay. Like you're going to prioritize yourself. Okay. <laughs> kind of like with that masculine energy, you're going to be like thinking about yourself first. Like, okay, what am I going to gain? What can I gain? What can I achieve? And masculine energy too, they are very, um, go getting. Okay. Very driven so there's a lot of drive i see in december that is going to be carrying you very very far possibly due to this secret plan or your um hidden agenda okay um and maybe that's why we see the double hermit too you're on this life quest where you know that you're the only one that can do what you're trying to do and through your self-discovery aquarius you're realizing you know there's nothing flawed with you you're just different you're unique. You stand out. And you're not trying to fit in anymore. Okay? Like, it's time for you to shine. It's time for you to shine. Some of you, with your life purpose, you're meant to shine the path for other people. The hermit has the star light. Okay? So it's like you have to go through something first. And then you're able to lead other people later on in life. Okay? You're meant to help navigate or help them um, through their struggles. And maybe that's why a lot of you Aquarians don't get along with other people that I feel like it's not by choice. Maybe it's just right now. Maybe right now you just feel like there's a lot, a lot of conflict. Like you're not getting along with like friends or family or coworkers because you're like on a different, again, there's like a shift. You're like on a different life shift, like some type of <laughs> paradigm shift where something is ending, old chapter, old you and you're turning into like a new you. Like your focus has redirected into something like much more serious, much bigger. And you're not dimming your light anymore. Hmm. Very powerful. All right, Aquarius, I will see you in the next reading. Until then, stay well and be blessed.